No, it's time for the Per Temps Network Handicap Final. Next, and this is a Grade 3 Handicap. All these horses have had to qualify for the qualifiers earlier in the season. The top one is Carl Martell, Lily for David Robertson. Kersil, John Morgan, original Sonny Graham Clutterbuck. Western Junction, Darren Thompson. Bailey Plume, James Shea. Flaky Duffcott for Graham Clutterbuck. Monte Cassino, Paul Fisk. National heroine, Paul Rhodes. Goodbye, Millie and Haddad, Vinnie Gerard. Dromore Hill, Ryan Costello. And Ring of Esteem for Thomas Rogers. So, 12 of the men. And qualified as I said through those qualifiers early on in the season and called in and away we go national heroine in the lead to start as they race towards the first of 12 flights and there's a forward at the very first Cal Martel Lily so you see too many fallers in the hurdles and you don't see too many at the first either and that one just almost like it forgot to take off it just collapsed over the hurdle Let's hope it's okay. And Bailey Plume is the leader. So Bailey Plume then from National Heroine. Good by Millie and Kersil. And Western Junction and Flaky Duffcott. As they take the third. Yes, they're all safely over. And once again, we've got a leader who's gone on by about five lengths, and that's Bailey Plume. And Bailey Plume it is then from Goodbye Millie in second. Kersil is third. Uh, original Sunny and National Heroine. Flaky Duffcott. And got a long way to go yet. And this is the fourth of 12. And they skip over that one. With Bailey Plume comfortable in front. Kersil has just about moved into second. And Goodbye Millie. On the inside one of the two Billy Gerard ones, I think that is. Then Original Sunny is next. National Heroine on Western Junction. And Flaky Duffcott, Monte Cassino in the black and grey. It's been pushed up on the inside. Then Dromore hit in the white. Yeah, Haddadge. And then finally Ring of Esteem. So that's the 11 that are left then. With Cal Martel Lily, the top weight, crashing out at the very first flight. And Bailey Plume is in the lead. And clear. A good four lengths as they get to the fifth. They're all over safely. The order is pretty much the same. I oh, think Western Junction is moving a bit closer around the outside. And Bailey Plume is still comfortable in front. Oh, Western Junction back in second as they go up past the stand. And Bailey Plume in front. Western Junction second, Kersil third, goodbye Millie fourth. This will be the final flight next time round. And they're all over it safely. And they'll run past the winning post shortly. And then swing out left handed for one more circuit of the track. And Bailey Plume is the leader. Goodbye Millie is second and Kersil is third. Western Junction is four and Monte Casino is five. Then National Heroine is six and Flaky Duffcott seven. Original Sunny is eight and Haddad nine. And then Dromore Hill and finally Ring of Esteem. And racing towards the next then. Bailey Plume. Probably all its own way in the lead so far. It's over the seventh. All safely over that as well. All hurdling well since that shock departure of the top weight at the first flight. But Bailey Plume is in front. By Millie has got back into second as they come to the eighth. Four more to take. Dromore Hill has dropped to the back and he's just starting to find the pace a little bit hot as they start to quicken. Going down towards the final mile and Bailey Plume skips over the fourth last in the lead. From Western Junction second, goodbye Millie. Then Kersil, Monte Cassino, and that leading group. Then National Heroine and Flaky Duffcott with Original Sunny and Haddadge. Ring of Esteem. Jockey looks to be holding that one back at the moment. And then a gap back to the back marker, Dromore Hill. There's just three to go. This is the third last, and Bailey Plume landed in the lead, but the field are beginning to close. Bailey Plume in front. Western Junction second. Goodbye, Billy third. Then Kersil, Monte Cassino, National Heroine, Flaky Duffcott. Had Ring of Esteem have gone past the original Sunny. 
It's racing downhill now. And Bailey Plume still in front, but only by three quarters of a length now with two flights to take. And Bailey Plume just being pushed along again there to maintain that lead. Western Junction is in second. Goodbye, Millie third. Curse Hill fourth. Nothing's really made a move yet as they come down towards the second last flight. And Bailey Plume. One by two again now. Field they are beginning to close on him and Bailey Plume's in front. Western Junction is second and goodbye Millie. Look at this running outside. Haddad and Flaky Duff got now there coming through to throw down big challenges to this leader with just one flight to go but they've still got three and a half furlongs to race and it's Bailey Plume in the lead. Haddad is second. Flaky Duff got his third. Western Junction trying to come out of the pack also trying to run on his ring of esteem but it's Bailey Plume in front from Haddad and Flaky Duff got. They're racing now down towards the final two furlongs and the final flight and it's Bailey Plume still in in front but Haddad is getting closer it's a head bobber now then as they come down towards this final flight Haddad closest to us Bailey Plume on the far side Haddad just landed in front he's half a length up this is Vinnie Gerrard's Haddad in the lead Vinnie Gerrard's first season as a jumps trainer he might get a winner at Cheltenham it's Haddad in the lead Haddad is beginning to pull away and Haddad is going to race up towards the line I think and take it Flaky Duff got one last lunge but Haddad is going to win the per attempt at the post it's Haddad wins it Flaky Duff got second Bailey Plume third in Western Junction and National Hill and Cursor, original Sunny ran on. The field are the 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 crowd are stunned. They're all standing in total shock as Vinnie Gerard in his first season as a jump trainer lands a big handicap at the Cheltenham Festival. And there you go. It's a win. Haddad for Vinnie Gerard takes it. Flaky Duffcott for Graham Clutterbuck second. Bailey Plume for James Shea third, Western Junction for Darren Thompson fourth, Monte Casino for Paul Fisk was fifth, and there you go, we need to say it again, one, two, three, all on the preview show.